I'm now joined by Arnie Gunderson by phone. He's a nuclear consultant for the environmental group Friends of the Earth, and he wrote a report for them on the STEM steam generator problem at San Onofre. Arnie, you were very critical of the information that's been coming out regarding the number of tubes showing accelerated wear at the nuclear power plant. Tell us why. Well, compared to the remainder of the nuclear industry, the, uh, the, the wear at, um, at San Onofre is in, a, is in a different state compared to everybody else. Uh, there's only been about 400 tubes failed across the nation, uh, yet uh, San Onofre had 1,300 tubes fail. You used leaked documents in compiling the data for your report. How did you obtain them, and what did they tell you? Well, the documents came from the attorneys at, at Friend of the Earth, and, and I really don't know uh, where. But what they told us was that the wear in Unit 2 was identical to the wear in Unit 3. The way the pipes were vibrating, all of the vibrational modes were identical in both two units. So the, the argument that Unit 2 is different than Unit 1, um, Unit 2 has had fewer... Um, uh, fewer pipes plugged, 500 compared to 800. But still, the way they are failing, the vibrational modes that they're failing in, is identical between the two units. Mm, okay, so previously on our program, you spoke about the new generators not being like for like, basically a different design from the original. Why is that a concern? Well, the, the process is that uh, if, you if you make major changes in a design, you're supposed to let the Nuclear Regulatory Commission know that the changes have occurred. And that didn't happen. Back in 06, when San Onofre uh, decided to replace these generators, they didn't tell the Nuclear Regulatory Commission that they were going to make massive changes to the generators. I believe that had the NRC known, they would have found the problems, specifically that the um, uh, Mitsubishi, the company that had built this generator, uh, had no experience building this type of generator. I think then it would have gotten increased scrutiny, and, uh, and we wouldn't be having this discussion today. All right. I'm sure we'll be following up a lot more with you on this. Arnie uh, Gunderson, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.